The ice breaking operations is critical for everyone around the Great Lakes because first and foremost we do potentially respond to search and rescue calls as needed. After that, we can respond to any potential flooding issues or requests for ice breaking to alleviate flooding in certain areas. Ice breaking operations are able to break out commercial harbors and provide assistance directly through escorts or freeing beset vessels. And then any ice breaking that's needed for specific types of vessels that may have hazardous cargo to ensure that they have a safe transit and then any other commercial vessels that need assistance to transit the water safely. So in the Canadian Coast Guard, we have ice breaking programs and they cover all of the Great Lakes. And on the US side, they have Operation Takane and Operation Coal Shovel. So they have their operations divided into two parts, whereas the Canadian Coast Guard has it all collectively together. So we treat the Great Lakes as one big unit. Uh, the lakes are split in half where the western half is managed out of Sault Ste. Marie, the eastern half for the U.S. is managed out of Detroit, and then Montreal at the ice center there, they manage the entire Great Lakes for the Canadian government. The commercial industry does depend on the ice breaking program to allow them to continue their operations later into the season and start earlier. Both the Canadian and the American economy benefit together from the extended season that commercial operations are able to continue.